Hey guys, how's it going? I'm gonna be comparing the brand new iPhone 5C on the right to the king of Android smartphones, in my opinion, the HTC One. So first, let's talk a bit about physical differences. The iPhone 5C is replacing the iPhone 5 and comes in a polycarbonate plastic and is available in five different colors. And of course, the HTC is larger due to the 4.7 inch screen compared to the four inch retina found on the 5C. And if we talk a bit about build quality, the HTC definitely has the upper hand. It's made out of aluminum unibody design and feels extremely rich and premium. Whereas the iPhone 5C, made of plastic, it doesn't feel cheap, but there's definitely a discrepancy in the materials used. And seeing as they cost the exact same at $599 unlocked, the HTC One definitely is the winner in that department. As I mentioned, screen size is definitely subjective. The 4.7 inch screen found on the HTC One versus the four inch retina on the iPhone 5C. Both are fantastic screens and you'll definitely be pleased with the brightness, clarity, and viewing angles on both. When we're doing daily tasks such as web browsing, both performed extremely well. The HTC One has slightly more real estate. However, the difference is definitely negligible. Pinching to zoom, scrolling, all perform without hiccups. When we're comparing the processor, we have a quad-core powerhouse compared to the A6 chip, which is definitely no slouch as that was found in the iPhone 5. And we've talked about launching apps and the waiting times. Both will be on top of their game and near the top of their categories. The 5C had a slight lead, but once again, the difference is definitely negligible. And 3D gaming ran extremely well on both of these devices. And any task you throw at either of these phones, you definitely won't be disappointed. The next thing I'll talk about is user interface, and this is definitely what won me over to Android two years ago. iOS just felt stagnant, it didn't change that much, however with the introduction of iOS 7 it's definitely refreshed things a lot. Multitasking now is extremely easy and intuitive, and pretty much reminds me of my Android experience that I've been having for quite some time. But in terms of customization, Android definitely takes the cake, if you can imagine it, it can pretty much happen. The possibilities are endless on the Android side of things. I will though, however, give a huge thumbs up to Apple for iOS 7. It was probably the biggest revamp in iOS since the creation of the iPhone. It no longer feels stagnant or dated and staying true to Apple's philosophy. It's simple, it's elegant, and it just works. And if we talk a bit about apps, we have the App Store for the iPhone, which has the largest selection of apps found across any platform and the Google Play Store for Android, which is definitely no slouch either. And if you're looking for popular apps, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Angry Birds, all of the popular stuff will almost guaranteed be on either of these app stores. And for example, if you happen to find an app on the Play Store, I can almost guarantee you, you will find a similar, if not the same app on the App Store, and that definitely goes vice versa. But let me know what you guys think about the differences between the iPhone 5C and the HTC One in the comments down below. I would have loved to see Apple introduce the 5C at a cheaper price point. Remember guys, these both cost $599 fully unlocked. The HTC One will have 32 gigs of storage, whereas the iPhone 5C will only have 16. So that's definitely something to consider. Excited to see what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I will catch you guys in my next video.